right, so today I got a day off from plowing and it's it's not freezing cold out. So uh, my controller has been, uh, the rubber was broke at, at one point uh, to lift the cylinder. I was kind of sticking my thumb up here and then lifting on the rubber, which worked, but that was dumb because it ended up peeling that apart and making it crack. And then this whole middle button is uh, has come loose. From, from being old and all the wear and tear. So to, uh, in the middle of the storm, I put duct tape or electrical tape around it and it still works fine, but it's it's getting a little worse. So I did end up finding some a replacement. That was kind of hard to find on, I think, uh, Amazon. So I'm gonna try and replace that today. <laughs> oh, these, these are pretty rusty. I hope they come loose. So it's a regular Phillips. So we'll peel the, peel the electrical tape off and we'll undo the screws and we'll see what we got. I want to be really careful with this, pulling it apart because you don't want everything just falling off. Normally, it's these are kind of split front to back and that way you just lift this top off and then put your new uh, control pad in there. I don't know, because I know this has a circuit board behind it and uh, I don't want everything to fall out. So I'm gonna undo the screws and then see what it looks like. So yeah, if you're in a survival situation, I always like to hang on to your tape. That way something happens and you don't, you think you have tape in the truck, but you don't. At least you got that to kind of get you, get you by. So yeah, this, this one's gone. So the, uh, the two metal contact points in there are what hit those uh, dark pad areas and uh, signal the plow to go up and down. So let me get the screws undone. All right, so I was able to gently pry it apart. Uh, it seems that most of this stays on the left side of the, of the uh, controller. So you want to try and peel away the right side. And <clears throat> on the screws, mine were a little tough especially the top ones, so I didn't just zip them right out. I would loosen them and then tighten them and then loosen them a little more and then tighten them and then loosen them a little more and then tighten them back up a little bit. Just kind of work it back and forth to work it all the way out. That seems to be the new norm anymore for stuff that's awful sticky. So I really need a tripod for this so I can get both hands. So I want to peel this away just enough to get to get this guy out of there. I don't want any extra drama. So this seems to kind of hinge at the uh, control button. So I got the truck turned off, so this isn't gonna energize. All right, so I should be able to just gently slide this out. Just maybe peel it peel it off of there a little bit or I don't know let me fiddle with this and then come back all right so this did rotate rotate this out just a little bit <clears throat> and I'll peel this off yeah, you see these little rubber tabs they go into a north south east west location in this uh, circuit board so you can see the the one down there is still kind of stuck in. I don't know if you can actually put the new one in there uh, or if it hopefully just works its way in there. That one there tore. That's still stuck in there. I'm going to have to take a tiny drill bit and try and poke that out by hand somehow. So be very careful when you do this, folks. These controllers are not cheap. So let me let me finish getting that out of there. Alright, so you can see it has uh, those plastic tabs. They're sticking all the way through, and these look like they were uh, dabbed with a little bit of silicone to hold them there uh, from the factory. So that's, I don't know. I gotta gently get in there with some tiny pliers, needle nose, and try and get them out. Um, figure out how to get them out without damaging anything. So let's try that. All right, so I got that out. Now the new one has these wonderful 
dingleberries on them and somehow you're supposed to shove them through those holes well with all that circuitry going on i ain't i ain't poking anything with a screwdriver or a ice pick or nothing i may try and put a little dielectric grease on there hopefully they'll slide in but these are all gummy and have no force fortitude and stiffness to to properly put through that hole so you know without sounding like a sexual innuendo these are too flimsy to get in there without damaging anything so i don't worst case you might snip them off and i know it's supposed to pull in there so it directs and these sensor pads hit exactly on the right spot there but boy plus the other thing is there's no room on the back you got all this other stuff here i don't know if you can actually get through there to get you know put that through there and then reach from the back side and, and pulling the rest of the way through i don't know if you can do that all right so i got them pushed through there i put a uh, little dielectric grease on each of them and they did go through pretty easy uh but they have a, a barb on the end which is to pull all the way through and then that barb keeps them uh mounted or you know bottomed out i couldn't quite get it to do that and i get a little nervous i didn't want to be pulling and yanking in there with needle nose pliers but it is in position so i slid slid the left half in i'll go ahead and put put uh the strap in with the pin and then slide the the right half over top and then see what we got all right so i did get the pin lined up to get the strap encased uh before i bolt everything together i'll make sure it works so i got the key turned on lights come on Why is it doing that? I don't like that. She works. And the float position works because it turned to red. Push it down to hold it. Goes to float. Sweet. So we are good, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and put the four screws back in, and that is how you change the touchpad on a Boss Plot Controller. Thanks for watching, everybody. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see ya.